I've got a clean copy of it now, and uh, I warn you, uh, this could scare you. I just recently began listening to your radio show and could not believe it when you talked about the sounds from hell tonight. My uncle had told me this story a couple of years ago, and I didn't believe him. Like one of your listeners who discounted the story as nothing more than just a religious newspaper fabricated account. The story about the digging of the hole and the hearing of the sounds from hell is very real. It did occur. My uncle collected videos and audio tapes and so forth on the paranormal, supernatural. He passed away fairly recently. But he would have loved your show. He let me listen to one of the audio tapes that he had on the sounds from hell, and I copied it. He received his copy from a friend who worked at the BBC. It took me a while to find it tonight, but attached is that sound from my uncle's tapes. It's not the greatest quality, but the sounds are there. I was very hesitant to send you this as the sound bothers me to listen to. I'd suggest that if you do play it on the program, warn listeners in advance so they may have the option of turning the radio off while it plays. It has always haunted me. To those who discounted the sounds from Hell's story, it is true, and I, for one, wish it wasn't. And so I submit now the cleaned, uh, a better copy to you. And uh, I warn you, what you are about to hear is very disturbing indeed.
I just got goosebumps all over my body. Me too. Oh, that was just exactly like what it sounded like. <laughs> that is amazing. I started hearing a hum, and then I saw a little pinprick of light. And the sound began to get louder, and it got closer to me. And as the whatever it was drew closer, I noticed that it was a creature, that, and that the creature was surrounded by flames in ver all the various colors of flames, reds and yellows, and it was, I don't know, big. Like, it seemed like it was eight feet tall to me, and it was huge. And it had huge teeth and huge eyes, and it was, there, there was a humming all around it, and it was making, you know, it was growling and gnashing its teeth, and it was drooling. Based on what you just described in the room that you saw, the room that seemed like hell, I wonder if it sounded like this. Thank <laughs> you. 
Well, listen, on, one more thing. Uh, about that uh, nine-mile hole oh, drill. Oh, okay. yes, yes. Now, now look, uh, I think that uh, it's kind of silly. Uh, maybe... Um, I'm, I'm not a geologist. Maybe it would be uh, to your advantage to maybe contact, you know, talk to listeners and, and see if uh, any geologists are out there. But in my opinion, if you drilled nine miles uh, down and you came to a pocket that was 2,000 degrees, you're talking about molten rock. You've got to admit what what you heard. If you did hear it earlier, did you? Yes, I did. Uh, pretty awful. Well, you know, I mean, I've I've seen a lot of special effects on TV, and I and, and it could be me. that. I don't it deny it. It could be. They mentioned um, a, a horrid little being that came flying out. Then they mentioned the drill bit turning wildly, and they mentioned a high temperature, but, yes, they, but they, they didn't mention pressure. But they also mentioned that they lowered a microphone into it. That's right. Okay. It's a pretty long extension cord. One, one, two, and one. Mix one, outside of my Roll up, go, child. Via seven, one, out of the world. You have a look, 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 look.
that's it. I'll let you come to your own conclusions, as I usually do.